Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In this video, I'll explain what VNC is, why we need it, and how to set it up. Let's start the video. VNC, Virtual Network Computing, was developed in the 1980s as a technique for controlling computers remotely. VNC's main function is to remotely control a computer, server, from a local computer, client, while displaying the VNC server's screen content on the local monitor. It is a graphical desktop sharing system that allows a user to remotely control the desktop of a remote computer, running VNC server, from your device, and it transmits the keyboard and mouse or touch events to VNC server, so that once you are connected, you have control over the computer you've accessed. If you're using your mobile phone, for example, you would be able to use the computer you've remotely accessed as though you were sitting right in front of it. Now I will install the VNC software on my laptop. Open VNC folder. Click on VNC setup file. Next. License agreement. If you have time, please read it. Click on I accept the agreement. Next. Next. If you want to change the installation path, then change, but I will go with the recommended path. Next. Create a VNC viewer desktop icon. Next. Next. Install. Finish. VNC server can check automatically for critical security paths and for product updates to which you are entitled. Do you wish to allow this? No. VNC server. VNC viewer user can connect using the address 192.168.0.104. It is your IP address and any VNC user using this IP address can access your computer. So you should set your VNC password. More. Option. Authentication. Window password. Always on. OK. Close the VNC server. Now I've moved to another laptop. On this laptop, VNC is already installed. Open VNC. Click on More. Now select the option. VNC Password, always on. We can also set VNC Password. When someone access this computer using VNC Server VNC Demand Password. Apply. Enter your password. Confirm your password. OK. OK. Now VNC is set on this laptop. Now I am on my first laptop. Open VNC viewer. Here you can enter IP address of other laptop. In my case IP address is 192.168.0.106. Enter. VNC server identification check failed. Continue. VNC viewer authentication. Enter the laptop's VNC password. OK. Now you can see the other laptop's desktop is open. My laptop allows me to easily operate anything. Now I am on my second laptop. Open VNC Viewer. Here you can enter IP address of other laptop. In my case IP address is 192.168.0.104. VNC server identification check failed. Continue. VNC Viewer authentication. Enter the laptop's VNC password. OK. Now you can see the other laptop's desktop is open. My laptop allows me to easily operate anything.
Here you can see that I am remotely accessing my laptop using a VNC server. VNC allows me to remotely control the desktop of a remote computer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Star Technology 5G. Please like and share the video.